Um, we're debuting the Daisy. It's an embedded platform for audio. It's similar to like an Arduino or a Tinsy. However, uh, we have specifically designed this for audio, uh, which is great because a lot of other embedded platforms have Linux running on the background and latency can be a little dodgy depending on your coding. This is just a bare bones uh, computing platform that you can just code and flash your program on your microcontroller. Yes. And uh, you can use our developmental platforms for testing, calibration, or even as like a, a finished product, so to speak. In regards to the DAISY, uh, its technical uh, specs, the clock speed is going to be 480 megahertz with a sample rate of 96k. Uh, the bit rate can be up to 32 bits. Uh, it has stereo in and out on board as well as 64 megabytes of RAM. So in layman's terms, you can have a 10 minute audio buffer of CD quality audio going. It's pretty nice. You can definitely develop some DSP uh, audio using the DSP. Uh, it will come if you purchase the DAISY. It will come with the headers installed, no soldering required. But the MSRP is going to be $29.95 for the DAISY itself. We will actually be having a Kickstarter uh, in the next couple of weeks. In regards to the DAISY, uh, you can reach it either on Kickstarter or on our website, electrosmith.com. And along with that, we will also be kickstarting the development platforms as well. If you have any questions, I'd be uh, happy to ask for you. It's the programming environment. Exactly. Great question. I mean, you have a few different programs you can choose from. You can use C or C++ as well as Arduino. You can, we are also uh, working on being able to export pure data as well as Max uh, MSP using the Gen Object to export. Stuff. Exactly. We're going to have a GitHub under ElectroSmith. We'll have all the resources for each program uh, for you to code onto the Daisy available open source. And individuals are able to post their code and their programs on the GitHub as well as open source. You can share, trade, collaborate, build upon other people's code. Yeah. And we're hoping to get a really expansive library and a solid community around it. Uh, largely our end goal with this is accessibility and learning how to program your own electronic music instruments. Education is really important to us, as well as uh, a platform for manufacturers uh, to develop new exciting things on that they can share in open source, share in their new products. Um, our goal is just to spread as wide as we can. We have like tutorials for like if kids want to learn how to use it. Yeah, so we're, we're working on that. I've actually talked with a few people about setting up a couple of YouTube tutorial videos on basic programming. Uh, uh, for example, right now we have an oscillator set up uh, in uh, code in C++, uh, but we want to set up YouTube videos uh, in regards to just basic tutorials for people to then use in the classroom, use in a summer camp, wherever the educational environment is for them to get coding. Um, and they can do it either straight in here, they can use our Daisy Pod, which is the most basic uh, developmental platform. It gives you all the ins and outs, stereo in and out, as well as MIDI, um, and some basic control features that you can use to uh, test and develop your program. The Daisy Field, which is our desktop synthesizer. And then over here, allow me to grab it real quick, we have our Daisy Pedal. It's a, uh, essentially if you're developing a guitar effects, a DSP effect, you could use this as your platform to test and build your, your code upon. We also have the Daisy Patch, which is a Euro Rack platform as well. Uh, do you have examples of instruments you've created or, or so, algorithms or whatever it is have, you want to call we it? Have, we have two right now uh, that are presented here on the computer. We have a, a VCO uh, that is currently in this patch right now, uh, which is being sent to our oscilloscope. You can see the triangle wave right there with a couple of different waveforms. We have saw, we have your square. All the way over here, like a sideways. With the frequency control. And you can have an octave. You have to set up different octaves uh, pitch up, pitch down, as well as a volt per octave setup. But it's a very basic patch for demo purposes. We also have on the right hand side a state variable filter uh, that you could, you could flash into the daisy. And this would no longer be an oscillator, it would in fact be a state variable filter with the uh, parameters coded for. So you could just dump whatever's in there and exactly. put a brand new thing in. So, which is really cool as like an end user, say you have this on your pedal board and you're like, I want to have a reverb. You, 
you go to the community on the GitHub, someone has developed a reverb that you're interested in, you just flash it in because it's open source, and you have a reverb pedal. And say, a month or two later, you're over the reverb, you want to try something different, maybe a delay, maybe a distortion, you can either download one, you can learn how to make your own, but either way, you can just flash it in, this now becomes that pedal. Uh, with the daisy in it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's the brain, uh, or the... Uh, the daisy is the brain. That's the, yeah, okay. It's the daisy it Makes the sense brain. now. Yeah. yeah. Any other questions? No, that's pretty cool. That's yeah. awesome. So, so you said, can you mention this uh, the Kickstarter? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, we're going to be having a Kickstarter launching in the next couple of weeks. Uh, you can check it out on the Electricity website. Okay. Um, and the, we are looking to get the daisy selling around March and um, post uh, Kickstarter. Okay. So there will be a video on there with more information. MSRP for all the different platforms. Uh, we don't have these quite ironed out yet, but they will all be sub $500. Cool. And uh, again, the days it will be at MSRP at $29.95. That's cool. With uh, volume discounts, uh, bulk discounts. Educational and stuff. Educational institutions as well as manufacturers. So cool. It will be awesome for kids who are in music and even exactly. in the program. Exactly. And this gives them something tangible to work with as well. Code can be a little daunting just because it's like learning a different language. It's hard to get into, but when you have something tangible along with the code that's already developed that you can reference in your education, and I think it'll make it a lot easier and a lot more accessible. Exactly. Exactly. That's, that's our goal. That's cool. Thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah. Thank you for stopping by. And uh, look forward to hearing more from us. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks.